friends, stay tuned for this video because I am going to be talking about the dangers of hydroquinone on the skin and I'm going to give you an alternative of what to use to brighten and uh, trick pigmentation. So stay tuned, I'll see you in a few minutes. Here I am back with another video and uh, this video is going to be about hydroquinone, the dangers of hydroquinone in your skin and what you could use as an alternative. But first I want to uh, give uh, a good hug, uh, I know from far away, uh, a spiritual hug and love for all the beautiful comments, the loving people that take the time to uh, encourage me and uh, leave comments. Thank you so much. And new subscribers, thank you very much as well. And touch the bell uh, for video notifications and subscribe and give thumbs up to this video. Okay, my friends, I am trying to uh, make videos as often as I can and uh, in order uh, to release my teachings and uh, my uh, desire and my purpose is uh, to help uh, women and men too. Um, that is the purpose uh, of life, uh, uh, of my life, I should say, uh, to help. Um, really, uh, I take it to heart to do this uh, mission that, ha that God had put in my life. And uh, I know I don't have a lot of viewers, but uh, at this point, I take it as a mission uh, that God gave it to me as a work uh, to help other women. Okay, so let's get started. So uh, hydroquinine, uh, it is a chemical uh, that is used for bleaching the skin uh, to treat pigmentation. I had made a video uh, last year of the dangers of hydroquinone and um, I was not uh, very um, pleased with the uh, um, response of some of uh, uh, bigger YouTubers uh, about hydroquinone and uh, so but that is, that's okay but now I'm realizing that some of those YouTubers are um, you know, uh, taking an account that hydroquinone is bad for um, their skin. And so uh, the message uh, sometimes of when you do videos, it seems that the message is done in vain, but eventually, you know, people reflect and take it to heart. And um, like I said, my uh, purpose is uh, to help anyone. It doesn't matter if uh, bigger YouTubers are against me or people are against me uh, with insults on YouTube. Um, it does not matter as long as it helps them, as long as they they are able to realize that uh, whatever I teach, it's, it's, it's a good thing. It's not something uh, that I teach to hurt anyone. Okay, so hydroquinone, like I said, it is... Uh, uh, chemical uh, that it is used to treat uh, brown spots. Uh, sometimes those brown spots are um, cause of aging, uh, liver and diseases, and uh, also exposure of the sun. But um, hydroquinone, the effects of hydroquinone, like I explained in, in my last uh, year video, the effect is the damaging and the destruction of the skin cells. Uh, so the skin cells start shrinking and eventually get destroyed, causing more aging and sagging of the skin. Also, the, the effects of hydroquinone is hyperpigmentation, uh, which uh, causes this disease uh, on the skin, um, showing as as bruises, looks like bruises, uh, uh, very dark uh, spots on the skin. So um, I had many emails last year uh, of some uh, women uh, asking me to help them because they had developed uh, the hyperpigmentation, those purple spots 
that are very, very hard to treat because uh, already the skin uh, cells have been damaged. And so uh, there are a lot of uh, side effects of hydroquinone. I am just giving you the basics. Uh, you could uh, Google it and, and you know, find out um, on, on your own what are the side effects. But I have an alternative uh, for um, treating uh, pigmentation, brown spots, and brightening the skin. It's a natural remedy that you could do it at home. All you have to do is order it. Um, I order it through Amazon to make it easy instead of going to the health food store because a, a lot of you uh, don't have access of health food stores um, that they sell, uh, you know, uh, a lot of herbs and organic, uh, uh, other organic nutrition um, that are are very hard to find in some states. Okay, so uh, this is a licorice. Uh, you could use a licorice to treat uh, your skin. I made a video uh, yesterday about uh, a cleansing uh, product from Dr. Brandt that I got it at Sephora. That specific product has a licorice uh, root extract to treat uh, the skin uh, and to give uh, the results of brightening the skin. Uh, so what you're going to do, take about one a teaspoon, a heaping teaspoon of the powder. Uh, it, this just arrived today. So uh, I order it, uh, like I said, through Amazon. And so what you're going to do, take the heaping teaspoon and then mix it with your toner uh, or spring water. So you mix it enough to make into uh, a very loose paste, um, kind of wa watery in order to uh, apply uh, on your skin. And um, now you're going to use about uh, <clears throat> 20 drops of lemon oil. A lemon oil, it's a great uh, essential oil to brighten through pigmentation and stimulate collagen. So anything that you use to treat uh, pigmentation like lemon oil, uh, orange oil, um, vitamin C, um, those uh, ingredients uh, will help stimulate collagen and brighten the skin. Niacin is another wonderful product uh, to uh, brighten the skin and stimulate collagen. Retinols, as you know, and uh, rose hip seed oil has a good source of retinol. You could even uh, mix it um, adding uh, rose hip seed oil or um, the uh, other oil, I forgot the name of the other oil that has a large amount of retinol, cacai oil, but with um, lemon oil. So in addition, you could use the other oils. So um, make into like a gel-like um, and then apply it on your skin and, and leave it for uh, 45 minutes. Make sure you exfoliate the skin before you do this mask. It's a mask and uh, you could do it uh, two times a weekly and for uh, severe pigmentation, you could do it uh, three times a weekly. And so I have done this for um, many, many years using licorice a root. Um, and there are other elements uh, and uh, herbs that also helps with uh, pigmentation. And so, uh, but this is very effective using with all uh, lemon oil. Okay, so uh, I guess this is the video for today, but I am going to give you the um, makeup information that I used today. I went to an event and I needed to look as flawless as I could. Uh, the best presentation on my skin because I had an uh, uh, anti-aging event. And so um, what I use, uh, and it's not expensive girls, so you could go to Ulta and it is the Revolution um, Makeup uh, Revolution London. This is a makeup stick uh, and it goes like this. And uh, this is the fair color, um, yeah, F1. Uh, the color and uh, it's less than ten dollars. I am so amazed with the results. Um, a girl did uh, this um, review about this product 
on YouTube that was a few months ago and um, and she said you could find it at Ulta. I went to my Ulta and they, they didn't have it. I guess it was a brand new product at the time, uh, but I I was uh, persistent. I said, I have to find the product because a hair, hair a makeup looks so beautiful. And so this is what I use. And then to set it, uh, I used the uh, Forever um, Makeup Forever um, Professional Paris. You could find it at Ulta. Uh, this is, I think, uh, uh, thirty-eight or forty dollars. It is a micro finishing loose powder, but this powder uh, is so effective in making you so flawless incredible flawless uh, so I, I did that to set my makeup and then um, now I put some uh, illumination on my cheeks and this is the illumination this is beautiful LA colors loose face body and shimmer and uh, then on top of it I layer it with the MAC uh, mineralized illuminating uh, powder um, which is this one here. So this is the uh, Show Goal Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Uh, so I, I use both of them, but you could use just this one here. I love this uh, LA Colors Loose uh, Face and Body Shimmer. It works just as a high-end product. So, uh, but prior prior to using uh, the makeup, I used this Revolution uh, uh, Unicorn El Elixir, and it is a um, liquid highlighter. I, I I put my primer, and then on top of the primer, I put a few drops of this all over my face, and then I put my uh, foundation, a stick foundation. And so uh, now the eyelashes are from uh, False Eyelashes Blender and uh, Blends Natural and False Lashes Together. And the company name, it is uh, Blend and Care. And so I know I don't use false eyelashes um, because that's one of the things that makes the person look older and a mature woman uh, and, and a younger person it's fine but when you get mature I don't think false eyelashes is a good thing to use and so um, they're decent enough my my eyelashes and so I'm happy with it uh, I don't need to use eye uh, full eye false eyelashes but this is uh, yeah very beautiful you could find it at Target blend and care uh, very very nice uh, and then uh, I wanted to give an update about the lipstick uh, of Revlon um, that I did in my last video. The Revlon Matte. Um, this is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte co uh, Lip Color, which I'm wearing it today. And uh, this here, uh, it does last a few hours and um, you may need to reapply uh, like after probably five hours, a little bit more. But it does last, it, it, I was drinking something and I was afraid that I, I was going to just um, see my lips without lipstick, but no, it just stayed there 
and I had tried another time uh, two days ago as well and so um, it is the lasting uh, effect is decent it's not like uh, longer than eight hours I don't think so but I just love the color though so uh, okay my friends uh, don't forget to subscribe share this video and I'll be back with more videos my sweet friends to release all the information uh, to uh, keep you uh, looking younger and gorgeous and healthy. Uh, see you. Stay gorgeous, my friends. Bye-bye.